Okay, so for this assignment, you are asked to find a documentary on a social justice issue. Now, where do you find one? A lot of people will turn to YouTube or Netflix, and those are, are definitely options. However, the library offers several options for collections of videos to give more variety. So you have a lot more options with what you choose um, and the credibility of the documentary itself. In order to find those, we're going to start at the C.G. O'Kelly Library. And we're going to go to resources by subject. As you can see, there are guides for every subject matter. Because we're in a justice studies class, I'm going to go down and click on the justice studies link. Here you'll see we've got several options across the top. What we want to do is the streaming videos. The two that I'm going to strongly recommend and I'll show you how to navigate are right here in the middle, Films on Demand and Canopy. So we'll start with Films on Demand. You can see Films on Demand looks shockingly like YouTube, uh, which is helpful because it helps with what we're familiar with. If you have a documentary in mind, you can type it in. So for this example, I'm going to try the Central Park Five. And I got a lot of results, but not what I was looking for. So maybe they don't have it. But I want to browse still, just to see what options I have. Clicking on the three lines, I can then look for the categories I need. And I'm going to view all subjects, and I'm going to scroll down. So I scrolled down and found the criminal justice and law. And here I can kind of break, it breaks it down even further. I've got criminal investigations, criminology, legal studies. So I'm going to click on criminology. And now I've got a list of either sections of documentaries or full documentaries. Uh, and I'll get a bit more information about what exactly the documentary is about. So if I click on here, the scheme. It will tell me in the description what exactly it's about. And that will help me decide, do I want to spend my time watching it or not? Uh, it'll also tell me who made the documentary, and, and I can then, after I've watched it, if this was the one I decided to do, and I needed a refresher or anything, I can skip right to certain sections, which is very helpful. Okay, then if I did choose to use this one, or, a, or one from Films on Demand, when I'm ready to cite it, because you will need to cite it for your project, I click on this where it says cite, cite this video, and it will bring it up. And depending on what style you're being asked to use, APA is probably the one. I click on that, and then there it is. I just copy and paste this into uh, my bibliography, and I'm good to go. Okay. The other option we have, going back to our guide, is Canopy. Canopy, you'll notice, looks rather than um, YouTube, looks a lot more like Netflix. Uh, again, the familiarity of it is helpful. So in this instance, I'm just going to go to the browse. You're more than welcome to click uh, and search for a specific video. Here you can see that because of what's going on right now, they're putting um, documentaries that are, are topical to timely right up in the front. Um, and I can browse through those. And if I see one that I want to watch, I just click and look. Um, if I'm unsure, and I just want to look, I can browse, and we're going to go to social sciences. So I click on browse, and then I can scroll down to social sciences, and I've got law and criminal justice. And again, it will break it down into different subtopics, true crime, um, the most popular ones that are that are on there. If you want to look at drugs in the law, uh, inside the courtroom, so more court drama type documentaries, trainings, 
you've got you've got a lot of options, um, and each subtopic has you can see you can scroll right through, and see more. Again, if I click on one, if I'm not really sure what it's about, I can read more about it to see to determine whether this is something that I want to use for my for my project. Also, just like in Films on Demand, when I'm ready, if this is the film I wanted to use, I click Citation Tools, and then scroll down. I need APA, and I just, it gives me the copy text, and I paste it into my bibliography, and I'm ready to go. So those are the two that I would strongly recommend. You're not limited to those, uh, but I wanted to, you'd be able to be familiar with how to navigate those should you need to choose documentaries. Once you found it, you watch it. The only thing I'll say is depending on where you are, if you're on campus in your dorm, maybe at home when you go to watch this, when you are at this part and you click on a database, you may be asked to sign in. And that's just using your username and password for the university. And you would just sign in and you'd have access to all the material. At this point, that's the end of the, the video. If you have any questions, here's my contact information on the screen and feel free to reach out and and I'll help you in any way I can. All right, thank you.